Thank you. Dr Kennedy Graham. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, the Green Party will certainly be supporting this bill, and we do so for reasons that uh, uh, are clearly beyond the comprehension and ability of National MP colleagues to even begin to comprehend. Uh, there's probably one person sitting across the aisle there who has an understanding and an insight into constitutional and international law and the role of parliament in a constitutional democracy. One. Sir, so, the, the, chair, the chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee currently was so moved with personal emotion to launch a personal attack against our colleague, and who is also Mr. Fletcher Tabato, and who is also a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, giving, conveying misplaced scorn, bordering on anger against a colleague. So I will quote, I will quote Mr. Muller. So naive of Mr. Tabato. A disgrace to be having this conversation does a disservice to Parliament. The Chairman, in being unable to control his emotions and his anger, did a disservice to this Parliament. Should be ashamed. He let our committee down. As it happened, he was not actually a member of the committee, as I recall at the time. The previous Chairman, who conveyed dignity and courtesy to all members of the committee at the time and to all submitters, about 3,000 of them, every one of them impassioned. 3,000 written submissions, 255 oral submissions presented in person. The previous chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee conveyed utmost courtesy to every single one of them. He did the committee proud. The philosophy that is animating the current chair is an over-interpretation of New Zealand Inc. And it, be, it, it, it conveys a limited, a philosophical skew on the one hand and a certain constitutional ignorance on the other. The fact is that the treaty examination by Parliament is simply an undertaking where, with a majority on the committee, it receives submissions, reports back to the House on the treaty, with no obligation for the House to actually even debate it. In this particular case, the House did not debate it. There is no vote taken. That is the extent of the treaty examination. The ratification process proceeds independently of Parliament. It is not dependent on Parliament. The implementing legislation is the only role that the Parliament has beyond that supine treaty examination. The Select Committee relies on the very government department to report back with a national interest analysis on the basis of its own original judgment about the merits of commencing and proceeding with negotiations. Whereas six of the 12 TTP countries require a parliamentary majority for ratification, in New Zealand, the government can proceed with supreme indifference to parliament. There is a strong reason to have a requirement that the government in the form of the minister report to the parliament before any signature of any international negotiation, any international treaty, is finalised. 
we will be supporting the bill. Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it is an interesting.